Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, I come to you with a heavy heart to talk about why Battlefield 2042 is such a fucking disappointment right now. Let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, let's just get into it. I'm going to roll in some gameplay with this. Um, as I'm sure you can tell, this is going to be a completely subjective uh, video as far as how I feel about Battlefield 2042 so far. I've been playing it as part of the early access uh, window. It releases as I'm recording this. Um, hopefully I get this posted today. Uh, the full game gets launched tomorrow. The community's thinking there may be a day one patch, although I doubt very seriously that there's going to be an overhaul of the game <laughs> in the next day. Um, but we're just going to talk about kind of what I like, what I don't, uh, and why I don't really want to play Battlefield 2042 right now, even though I've been waiting for so long for this game to come out. So. I'll start with my overall just kind of impressions of the game. I've spent a few hours um, playing the, uh, what is it called, All Out Warfare part of 2042, which is Conquest and Breakthrough. It's the only two options that we have right now, which is an issue, and they're on, they're all 128 players, and my, my just, my general thoughts when I think about the game is it's too friggin' big. They broke the assault rifles, and it just isn't very tactical. Like, the way that it feels right now, the game, and when I say it's too big, like, they built these the biggest maps in Battlefield history with 128 players. Either on, like, Breakthrough, they funnel everyone into one location, in which case it feels like a giant clusterfuck, and is it's extremely hard, if not impossible, to play tactically in a normal way that you would in a Battlefield game. Or, in Conquest, you're spread out so far that it feels like you're you're spending too much time between engagements and then you're getting sniped from somewhere, or your assault rifle doesn't work, and the meta has been the SMGs because they somehow didn't break the SMGs since the beta, but they completely broke the assault rifles. They added this bloom mechanic to assault rifles so that they're completely inaccurate at anything other than point-blank range. Like, I don't... The fuck? Um, the game just feels very dreary. Like, there's the whatever, there's a couple of maps that are kind of bright, but it feels like more often than not when I'm playing the game, it's like rainy or stormy or dark or dreary. It's just, it's kind of awful. <laughs> like, when I go back and I watch some of my gameplay, it's all just like blue and dreary. And plus, all of the ranges in this game, because it's such a big set of maps, I'm shooting at such long range at people that you can't really even see much of what's going on. Like, it's a bit of a mess. And it and I'm sad because it feels like the mess is, is a series of choices <laughs> or a lack of playtesting. Um, and less like things that can be fixed. I had a ton of fun in the beta and the full release now. I just don't even want to play it. Like, it's just, it, that's just kind of like the impression I get from the game. And, and it's just, especially with the situation we're at right now where Call of Duty Vanguard's out, which I also have very little desire to play. And Microsoft surprise dropped Halo Infinite's free to play multiplayer, which, feels amazing. I didn't expect that Battlefield 2042 would go to full launch. I'd be like, man, I I don't want to play it. I want to play Halo. <laughs> so it's a very interesting situation we're in right now. So I, I don't know. It's Maybe it's DICE fixes Battlefield games over time. They For whatever reason, they tend to fuck things up right out of the gate. Like, whoever their internal playtesters are, are fucking stupid. And for whatever reason, they keep forgetting. Like, I remember vaguely, like, hearing people talk about how Battlefield 5's gameplay mechanics were really shitty when that game came out, and then they fixed it. Like, the gameplay in the beta felt really good. Like, assault rifles felt useful. <laughs> like, 
Orbital felt like a map you could move around, even if you didn't have a vehicle. It didn't take forever to move between map, between points. It seems like all the other game modes that I've played, and I don't think I've even been put in a match on Orbital yet in 2042. It feels like you have to have a vehicle to get anywhere, because it's so huge. Or you just like stuck fighting over one point, and they have like, okay, they have their conquest points that are now like two points. But then you're just, or two or three points, like there's that one with the stadium where there's like three points in an area and you could basically just spend the map sitting there fighting for those three points, but they really did a weird thing where it's hard to get from one to the other. You either have to go straight through these doors, which get you slaughtered, or you have to go a really, 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 really long way around the sides of this stadium thing. It's just, it feels like they didn't really spend much time figuring out if the game was gonna be fun. Including these weather effects, like the stadium map, like it's one of the brighter, less dreary maps, and then randomly there's like... Like I was playing inside the stadium, and like we set off like the, the Halon system, like the sprinklers, but they're like, you know, a cryogenic fire suppression system, which makes your player start to literally like freeze, like you're freezing sounds and your vision gets all blurry, and so you're like running from the sprinklers, and then like a dust storm blew in and everything just turned hazy and brown and I was like is this supposed to be fucking fun because it's not this is no fun now I can't see instead of fighting the enemy I'm running from a sprinkler system like what the fuck is happening and then and then fucking hovercrafts are flying all over the place instantly murdering you and there's really nothing you can do about it like it's not fun <laughs> the game just does not feel fun at all right now the only part that does feel fun because the maps are so huge is sniping and even in the gameplays that i've seen from other battlefield content creators out there their clips are made up of two things sniping or using the pp29 uh smg because apparently it's like the meta because it basically operates like the assault rifles did in the beta because it actually has accuracy at range the assault rifles are completely useless. And this one SMG, I guess, is like the gun. Unless you're sniping. And sniping is quite satisfying. Sniping is very fun. But it's like Battlefield 2042 sniping simulator. Like, I don't, like, it, that. All, that's all I want to do in the game because everything else sucks. And it's like, okay, well, unless I want to snipe right now, I better not play Battlefield. Like, if I actually want some tactical infantry combat... There's no option for that in 2042, like, it's, I mean, it's just not there. And we'll talk about Portal in a minute, but let's talk about the fucking game that we, that I bought, right? Like, okay, it's just not there. Like, in old Battlefield games, Conquest, Conquest Small, Rush, Obliteration, Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch. Like, if I didn't want to play full-on Conquest with tanks and helicopters and shit, and I just wanted to shoot some people, I could play Conquest Small, and it gave you three or four points. You could move between on foot. Gunfight. Like, where the fuck is that? Like, if I want to do something like that, I have to pick a Conquest game, and then, like, hope I can find a couple of points where people are fighting, and then I'm still going to get bombarded by vehicles and fucking hovercraft are going to come screaming through and just randomly murder me. Or I can play breakthrough in which case a hundred fucking people are going to be fighting in a in the space of a football field and you're either going to be like spending the entire time hiding behind a pillar waiting for people to get close to you so you can shoot them hopefully with a weapon that might actually hurt them or you're going to be sitting way on the outside sniping at people or being sniped like it just I don't know. The game just feels really, really bad right now. And and it makes it so that I just, like, I'm sitting here trying to think, I have some time to play a game. What should I play? I want to play Halo. Because <laughs> Halo feels like a lot of fun. Like, I feel like it's mostly based on skill and you, like, it's, it's enjoyable. It feels solid. It feels balanced. It feels like the weapons do what they're supposed to. Like, Battlefield 2042 just feels unfinished, and somehow, even though technically speaking, it feels more solid than the beta, there's less of the glitchiness, the slideshowiness, like the technical issues are less in the full release, so good on you. But then they ruined the gameplay somehow, like player movement feels worse and clunkier, 
Uh, like I mentioned, the weapons just don't, like, the assault rifles just don't work. Like, that's the bread and butter of Battlefield, and they're completely broken. They don't work at all. They're, they have no accuracy. Sniping is the only thing that's any fun. I mean, I guess because I'm not... I've played for literally hours, and I haven't ranked up enough to unlock apparently the only good weapon in the game, which is the, the SMG, the PP-29 or whatever. So maybe when I whatever, grind up, like, enough time to get to a level where I unlock the only good weapon in the game, like, but otherwise it just feels like, like, standing way too far away from people, failing to hit each other, unless they're a sniper, like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good. Now, yeah, I feel like they'll probably iron some of these things out and fix it, but as of right now, it's just kind of like, why, and it's, and it sucks because it feels like I don't want to play the game. I don't want to waste my time trying to rank up playing a game that's not any fun. Which means that by the time they do fix it, <laughs> everybody else that's grinding on the game right now is going to have everything unlocked. So whatever the meta weapon is, like I keep getting laser beamed by the PP-29 and my M5 does fuck all. <laughs> I can't fight back at medium range against an SMG with an assault rifle. Like, so what, I guess I just snipe to try and grind levels until... And they've had broken stuff, like they've already had to take Dozer's shield out of the game and put it back. They had to take motion sensors out of the game, which I haven't even ranked up enough to unlock yet. Because so many people were using them that it was causing lag on the servers. Like, you can't make this shit up. I don't... I didn't intend for this video to just be a... A, a non-stop rant. <laughs> but it's turned into that because I've been waiting for this game... And it feels like such a disappointment that they've made such flabbergastingly terrible choices. How did the gameplay from beta to full release get worse? Like what happened internally that they were like, you know these assault rifles, they actually hit what you're shooting at at medium to long range? Like, let me put in a clip here of what assault rifle gameplay with the M5 looked like during the beta. And the fact that you could actually hit people, and it was actually effective and fun. And then some gameplay of the M5 in the full release, and how bullets just fucking spray all over the place, and you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Why would they do that? I don't understand. Like, okay, get used to it. No! Like, why ruin gunplay in a shooter? I don't understand. Like, and then, I don't know. It just feels nasty and awful and too huge. I feel like I'm pixel peeping at fucking distant shapes instead of playing an engaging war game. Like, if it's close combat, I'm gonna get shot from 17 directions. I'll be lucky to get two or three kills before I get slaughtered from someone because I'm in a giant clusterfuck or a vehicle's gonna slide by and fucking murk me or explosives are gonna rain from the sky. Or I'm gonna have to sit way far away from everything and just take pot shots at people with a sniper rifle. It, it's just a mess. It makes me not want to play it. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> we'll see how it evolves, how they work on it and fix it. Like, it's a very weird time <laughs> where I've been waiting for, like, these new shooters to come out, right? And Vanguard is a fucking mess in addition to being a World War II setting. 2042 is just a poorly designed, incomplete nightmare. And Halo Infinite is fantastic. Although it's a futuristic, like, space shooter, and that's not really my jam. So I'm, I'm waiting for <laughs> Modern Warfare 2022. Modern Warfare 2019 is still the best Call of Duty, the best shooter that's been out in the past four or five years, three years, I guess, since it came out. Basically, since it came out, the best shooter that's been out there. It's still great. Um... So I guess we could talk about Portal briefly. It is kind of like the best part of 2042 right now. I haven't played Hazard Zone and I'm not gonna. I have really no interest in that game mode. When I watched like their reveal for it and what, I have absolutely no interest in playing that. I don't know. that. I'm sure there's an audience for that, but it doesn't sound fun at all. And I've watched some videos of people playing it where it's like a mixture of like squads and bots like, where you're doing f basically fetch quests. Like, okay. I don't. I have no interest in playing that game mode, so I... Do you guys... Oh, Hazard Zone's worth the price of admission. Okay, good for you. I'm not... No. I want... 
I want Conquest small. Like, get, I, I don't want, fuck, you know, I thought 128 players would be, like, fun, although they broke Assault Rifles. Maybe if Assault Rifles worked, it would be better because I could actually play the game tactically, or maybe if I unlocked the one weapon that works, I could play, enjoy the game more. I don't know. I, I can't tell you because I don't want to fucking play the game long enough to find out. Um, yeah, so it's just, this kind of is what it is right now. Um, but Portal is the better part because it plays more like the Battlefield 3 mode, plays like Battlefield 3, the, the Bad Company 2 plays like Bad Company 2. I didn't play Battlefield 1942 in its heyday, but it feels like Battlefield 1942 plays the best <laughs> out of all of them. Like, it seems the smoothest. Maybe it's because of the lower player counts and the more basic gameplay. Um, but I played, like, one match of Battlefield of 1942, and it was actually a lot of fun. Battlefield 3's version feels very clunky, like, more so than 2042's, which is how I remember Battlefield 3 playing. But, so I don't know. I mean, I, I get what's true form. Same thing with Bad Company 2. They feel like the games that came out new. I was hoping for, like, the basic gameplay, the class-based gameplay, the maps, but, like, the modern feel, like, the, the updated control so it doesn't feel clunky and old. So right now the base versions of those games that DICE has put together feel like the originals, which is okay. Yay. Like, it feels like you're playing an, a prettier updated version of Battlefield 3 or Bad Company 2. Except the controls are still intentionally shitty. So, and the, the user-generated content, like, the, the browser for that, you can't... It's really hard, like, I wasn't able to really easily find anything that looked interesting. And when you look at, like, the user-created stuff, a lot of it has, like, you look at the pings and it looks fucking awful. It's like, why, why would I even want to join that? There's, like, three people in a game mode that might sound interesting with, like, a 150 millisecond ping, like... No one's ever going to play any custom game modes. Because how are you going to populate that server? Like, you create a game. Like, let's say you created Battlefield 3, but with the 2042 controls. I don't even know if that's a thing you can do. But you take away the clunky, shitty Battlefield 3 controls, but you leave all the Battlefield 3 maps and weapons and game... Where's that? I, I don't know how to find it. And if someone created it, if I went and created it, you go in the server list, A, how are you going to find it? It's buried, and the search feature is terrible. And then what? There's going to be like, you're going to like, hey, I created this mode, and you jump in it, and it's you. So there's one person. And so it gets buried in the list, and no one's going to join that server, because it's got one person in it. You're going to find 60 people that somehow managed to find your game mode, and then jump into it enough to populate out a server and actually play some games. And then I think every time a, a round ends, I think it dumps everyone out of this, like... What the absolute fuck? There's no server browser for the core game mode for 2042? I just... I don't understand what they've done. Uh, I've ranted enough, <laughs> I just realized, for this. So, let me know what you guys think. I am just absolutely stunned. Like, I, I've got a whole week of vacation coming up for Thanksgiving, and I was like, I'm going to be playing the shit out of 2042. And I feel like I'm going to be playing the shit out of some Halo Infinite. Or maybe playing some single player games. Because I am fucking crestfallen. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a nightmare. So let me know what you guys think. Have you been... <laughs> what do you think, 2042? What are you guys playing? What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot some stuff? I don't know. If you guys like this video, you like listening to me bitch and moan. Uh, leave me a like. If you don't like it, leave me a dislike. <laughs> uh, subscribe for... What the I mean, I'm going to be giving you helpful content for whatever games I'm playing. I may end up going back to the Halo WTF series from back in the Reach days, because Halo feels fucking amazing. Alright, I'm going to talk to you guys later. See ya.